For the third straight day, not counting lunch breaks, Rosa was reading the very bestest book she'd ever read. It was full of lovely pictures and poetic words, but she had almost reached the end. In fact, there's so little left, we can probably read the rest of it with Rosa. The fearless knight drove away the monstrous dragon and smiled suavely at the princess he had just saved. When you're around, said the princess to the knight, my heart does flip-flops of unbridled joy in my royal ribcage. Beautiful writing. I wish my ribcage was royal. And when you're around, the dashing knight replied, I feel alive, like I could vanquish every dragon in Dragonland without breaking a sweat. Oh. He took her by the trotter and led her back to the palace, where they ate much cake. What? That's all? <clears throat> Must be super great to be a princess. Strong, handsome knights always going on daring quests to gain your notice. Hey, I wonder if some knights would go questing for me if I encouraged them. Princess Rosa decided to inspire Sir Chico and Sir Crash. They were doing scientific tests at the time. <laughs> and is not science itself a quest for knowledge? Done and done. Time to start the countdown. Um, five and four. Hi, boys. Three. Do I look any royaler? Two. Dare I say even princess -like? One. Are you inspired by Boom. it? Boom. Ah! What the burnt bacon? All right. Look at that. Awesome. Look at me. Some nights. Strangely, neither Chico nor Crash dropped everything to go on a quest for Rosa. Maybe she needed a knight who was more mature, less silly loud boyish. Someone like Wally. He was a poet. Poets are totally romantic, right? Well, hello there, Wally. It's kind of crazy, but all day long my heart has been doing flip-flops in my royal rib cage. <laughs> Wally. Hey, Wally. Uh, hello, Rosa. Hi, finally. Are you all right? I'm terrible. For I am... talentless. But you're really talented. I'm not. Let's be honest with each other. I stink. My poems are awful. What do you say about your heart? Actually, nothing special. Olga has this great heart medicine, made from pine cones or something. It's good for whenever you're nervous. <coughs> Sometimes it really helps. Want some? Mm -mm. When life gets hard, seeking good advice can really help. Rosa decided to ask Carlin for his advice about who she should get to quest for her. Maybe Carlin himself would want to do it. <laughs> Weeping worms, Rosa! What's happened to make you so miserable? What, the saddest book ever written? No, it is the happiest ending ever about a beautiful princess that <laughs> everyone loves. Everyone goes on quests for her, but it seems no one will do anything for Princess Rosa at all. I just feel so sad. I see. Well, first of all, you must stop crying. You say you feel sad and lonely? My dear, you couldn't have come to a better bird. No one understands feeling lonely like a big, loud, grumpy, crotchety old crow. One time, my ship got caught in a storm and sank, and I ended up shipwrecked. I found myself alone on a small island, completely cut off from the rest of the world. Then I discovered another passenger washed up on the other end of the same island. Turns out he was this prince from some foreign kingdom. Prince? All right, now you're talking. I'll find a prince as soon as possible. Thank you, Carlin. One thing, where can I find one? Like, is there a prince shop? Mm, bye. My prince? Prince, prince! Rosa went down to the beach and searched all the dunes, hoping desperately to find that at least one shipwrecked prince had washed up there. Rosa searched and searched, but alas, she did not find a single prince. She sighed as the sun began to vanish on the horizon, taking the hopes and dreams of a certain pig with it. Oh, sweet mystery of life! At last I found you! I am the princiest prince ever! Please send me on a quest! Uh, thank you, Pumpkin Prince. I was just heading home. But you must not! Why? You must send me on a quest! 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 It's all you've talked about all day! Give me a quest! 
goodness me! What were you doing inside that thing? Hey. So, uh, we thought you'd like it if someone went on a quest for you. So uh, we constructed a prince. You call that a prince? It's a monster! I told you guys. Because the prince was really a dragon in disguise the whole time! <laughs> Rosa looked around at her dear friends who had gone to so much trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to make her happy. They were way better than some silly prince. She realized that all of them were already on a wonderful quest. All together. A quest called Being Lifelong Friends. Well, I'm not a princess, but I'm as happy as one. so much pain, why are you playing this game where you're pushing each other and falling down? <laughs> Chico, this is hockey. There's only one puck and the ice is slippery, so everyone falls. I think hockey is played on ice on purpose, so it's easier to make each other fall down. I think that all of you should quit playing this cruel game and come over here and help me make a snowman. It'd be a much more productive use of your time, you know. <laughs> uh, where is that puck? I got it. It's right here. My fearless friend, please be so kind as to forgive my play. I'm afraid that I was, uh, how should I say this, excessively rough. Oh, come on now, old friend. I'm afraid it was all my fault. Sometimes I'm rather featherbrained. You were the one who played by the rules. Still, uh, I managed to crash into you with such force. It was normal. Don't worry. The whole thing was normal. It is hockey after all. Yeah. <clears throat> but the way I slammed Crash into the boards, that was not pretty to look at. It's okay. It's okay. It's a sport. That's how it goes. Ow. I don't like sports where players actually beat each other up. At first, everyone's only fighting while they're playing hockey, but before long, it gets a lot worse. They're beating each other up over everything. No way! That's crazy! Ow. Yeah, sometimes we get a little rough when we fight each other during the game. But, uh, once the game is completely over, everyone forgets it. And we're all friends again. Come on, get over this, Andrew. Let's go. Fastas is fantastic. Uh, feel better soon. <laughs> oh. Chico, is it possible for you to do something for me? Anything you want. With all these bandages on, it might be tough for me to play. I'd probably only score a couple goals, but you know how much these guys miss hockey. Could you take my place in the game for a little bit? Me? Mm. No. It's okay, it's okay. Don't get upset. <laughs> That's what's great about hockey. It's not embarrassing to fall when you play. But when you fall, <laughs> make sure you drag as many opponents down with you when you go. <laughs> oh. Chico, you needn't worry. We promise not to be too difficult on you today, all right? <laughs> Chico, Chico! 
ऊपर Chico, come on! Check him! Chico, the boards! Pick up! The game has started! You're invading my space! My high-spirited friend, this isn't the ballet. No one is going to go easy on you just because you're a novice. You gotta up your game. This is hockey! You can't act like such a baby! Maybe I'll just play goalie. Are you loony? The goalie is the most important player! Alright guys, let's get back out there! Chico, you're a very kind person because you're very modest. You're always ready to give way to someone else. But here you'll be fighting not for yourself, but for your team. Do you understand? You're part of a team. And because of the team, you can't be modest. Your team's feelings are hurt now. Your team is crying, Oh no, why is Chico letting others hurt me? Why is he not protecting me? <laughs> Others, aren't we playing today? No, not today, not tomorrow, and not the day after tomorrow. It's spring, Chico. Hmm. Hmm. 
So, when are we going to play? When spring, summer, and fall finally end, then we can play next winter when it gets cold enough for that nice ice to form. Okay, but what happens to our team? We wait until next season. Barry, let's get together and practice. We don't need the ice to practice. Maybe the other team will come over too, and we'll play with them. We'll create a summer version of hockey. We can do it on the rollerblades, or we can just run and use a little ball instead of a puck. What do you say? Mm -mm. I have to plant potatoes now, and all summer long I have to work in my vegetable garden. And in the fall is the harvest. I'll be busy till next winter. We'll play then. What about the game? What about Team Spirit? I was thinking about the way we play. We have to change our game plan. Take, for instance, the offensive line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's our opponents. Let's go show them what we're made of. And most importantly, we're a team. <laughs> oh, Chico, maybe you should be the one to play. You can take my place. Hmm. No, you play. For now, I'm more useful to the team when I'm out here. I don't understand. Is Chico their coach now, or what? Let's play hard. Don't let them get away with anything. This is hockey, not ballroom dancing. thinking eating is such a strange thing no matter how much you eat you always have to do it again it's the same with sleeping isn't that weird we throw away so much of our lives eating and sleeping what a waste are you calling my food a waste no that's not what I meant but we waste time in our lives on food Oh, so my food's a waste of time? <laughs> Fine. I can see I've wasted my time making an ungrateful sheep some pastries. You know, I do have recipes that don't take as much time. Cooking is faster than baking. Interesting. She knows exactly how she can save time. And I bet I can find ways to save time, too. Uh, hmm. Hmm. 
Well, darn. It turns out limiting sleep to four hours is easier said than done. How many times must I have pushed the snooze button? Hmm. Hmm. Apple pears and celery, summer peaches too. All will go into my jams, then I'll share with you. I got it! <gasps> I have found the area of my life where I can save some more time. And it's not eating or sleeping. The area that takes up so much dead time is... <clears throat> Annoying teeth brushing! I don't think dental hygiene is optional. You're wrong. According to my calculations, I spend five minutes brushing my teeth every day. That's a lot of lost time. <laughs> Hours just gone. <laughs> yeah, you should probably brush more than that. So I had an idea. What if I stopped wasting my time doing this all together? Oh, no. Seriously? Hear me out. If I stop brushing my teeth this moment, in a few months' time, I should have gained at least an extra day. Isn't it genius? A few months without brushing your teeth? What do you need to save all that time for? So I'll be able to... <coughs> write more poems. Thank you. But your services will no longer be needed. Uh, I'm sorry we don't have a severance package. Haven't you heard? Uh, uh, we're wasting time. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to go. Uh, <laughs> bye. I don't have any more time to waste on this conversation. Not one minute. <laughs> no siree. <laughs> Bleh. By not brushing, I've officially saved a day of time! So productive, so much time. Whatever shall I do with the excess? All this time. Huh? Somebody help! Open up! Oh yes, God. yes, hold your horses. Oh. Who's there? Oh! <laughs> ah! Of all your ridiculous ideas, this was one of the worst. It's a good idea to see a dentist regularly anyway, and for Pete's sake, brush your teeth, okay? All that time. Hmm. Oh, man. Wasted my whole extra day at the dentist. Also, don't eat for two hours. <sighs> oh, well. Looks like I'll have to skip dinner. But that means... That's at least two hours of time I'll save after all. <laughs> Let's see here. I think I'll play this seven. There we go. Your turn. I pass. All right. In that case, I'll have to pick up another one. Mix them up good here. Eleven. That means I'm leading by 18. I'm still behind. Double play. I'm going to buy a brand new car. <laughs> when I was their age, I... Oh, look at that! <laughs> when I was their age, I played in the playground. And I didn't disturb my elders when they were trying to play bingo. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Oh, I got the last one! <laughs> I win! <clears throat> Maybe next time. <clears throat> well, time for a nap. 
I wish I could nap like that. I try, but I just can't. I'm sure you could learn if you tried, Crash. Can you show me how? Huh? <laughs> you certainly are insistent, aren't you? Well, then. Now that you've interrupted my well-deserved nap, I'll show you. <laughs> now, I'm going to clap my <laughs> hands, and you're going to fall into a deep slumber. Are you ready? <laughs> Asleep? <laughs> Let's try again. Listen closely. When I clap my hands for the 137th time, you will fall into a deep, deep slumber. Or else. You got it? Wait a minute. It finally worked. I sleep so much that at night, I can't sleep at all. Oh, boy. Hey, Mary, did you lose something? Garden and spade. I put it aside for a minute and... <sighs> Bro, what just happened? You got me. Like he passed out or something. Hey, Crash! Uh, Crash! Uh, Crash! Uh, what? What happened? Where, where am I? Huh? Huh? Where do you think? <laughs> huh? You know what? I think I ought to pay Carlin a visit. But that's ridiculous. He needed my help, so I helped him using a very simple methodology. Thanks to which, he could take a rejuvenating snooze at any time of the day and thereafter be energized. Huh? Hmm. His reflexes appear to be normal. Say ah, please. But you don't understand. It's like a reflex or something. It happens any time someone claps their hands. What an imagination. Uh, oh, I think he's asleep. Uh, Good luck trying to wake him up. I've tried. Oh. It seems to be a matter of Crash's subconscious picking up on certain outer stimuli. Our job, then, is to find a way to remove the stimuli or retrain the subconscious. Yeah, but what if he can't be retrained? What if he stays like this? If the subconscious can be trained, it most certainly can be untrained as well. Boy, I could use a nap myself. Asleep. Yeah, he's asleep. I know that. Oh, no. Well, maybe you should wake him up then. Uh, uh, what's going on? How did I get here? Listen, Daco, you're the smartest guy in the room. Isn't there some way you can help? Why do I keep falling asleep like this? How should I know? This is all your fault, Carlin. You're the one who bamboozled his subconscious, so you're going to have to unboozle it. Wait a minute. My sub what now? Are you going to tell me what's wrong with me or not? We have to think of something, and we have to think fast. Mm hmm Yeah. Perhaps we can reverse the reflex so that if we clap, he'll wake up rather than fall asleep. Certainly is worth a try, no? Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. What's the matter? Huh? It worked. Nicely done. Oh, 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 how wonderful! Looks like our sleepy head is good as new. It seems so. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Although, it did remind me where I put my needlework. I haven't been able to find it for a whole year or more, at least. And I also remembered the recipe for a very delicious pie. You can't imagine how grateful I am to you. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here right now, shaking uncontrollably and spilling hot coffee all over my lap. <sighs> oh, ah. That's not necessary. It's just lucky that I happen to be walking nearby. You rest now. I remembered that I only used to bake this pie on very special occasions. I even realized why it was I've forgotten the recipe. <laughs> I haven't had any reasons to celebrate lately. But now I can express my sincere gratitude to my wonderful hero. <laughs> Why, thank you. I haven't, I haven't seen you for so long. Since, since you've been gone, since you've been gone, since you have been gone. I have been feeling all alone, all alone, alone. I needed you some new socks. <clears throat> Keep on practicing. I'll be quiet as a church mouse. I knew the day would come when I would find you. Find you? And then it happened on a very snowy evening. The blizzard covered all the roads, dear. All of the roads, dear. My dear Olga, when I practice my singing, I prefer to do it alone. Oh, uh, sure. Church mouse. Church mouse. I haven't seen you for so long, for so long. Olga, what are you doing? I just wanted to make sure the socks were the right size. Uh, mamma mia. I... I'm only trying to express my gratitude to you, but everything I come up with seems to be inadequate. You saved my life, the greatest gift of all. You are my hero. If not for you, I would have... Uh. No, go to bed. Don't worry. I'll close it. What? What are you doing out there? <laughs> I told you, my entire life flashed before my eyes, and I remembered one incident when this friend of mine was walking in his sleep, so I thought, what if you two started walking in your sleep, and you came outside and froze, <laughs> and I'll be there to save you! I do not walk in my sleep. 
I understand that you very much want to express your gratitude to me. And to save me from something dangerous would be the best way to do that. But for that to happen, that something dangerous has to happen to me in the first place. And I certainly don't want to be in a dangerous situation where I have to be saved from something dangerous. <sighs> you understand? Then what should we do? How about this? You forget that I saved you, and we'll call it even. Really? I'm so grateful to you for being so generous like that. How can I ever repay you? I wonder. Help! Help! Hmm. Somebody! <sighs> Not again. <sighs> <laughs> Isn't it great to recall of saving one's life once? <laughs> I would never forget such a thing. <laughs> I think I threw my back out. I've had it too long. I should have thrown it out long ago. Uh, 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 what did you expect for someone your age? <laughs> you can't just go around jumping like you used to. Uh, uh, what do you mean, uh, your age? Uh, hold still. Yeah! I don't agree to age. I won't accept it. And that's that. Yes. I refuse. Oh, well, what are you going to do then? I don't know. Not yet. I will not put up with it. I, I, I will find the elixir of youth. What? The elixir of youth? <laughs> and just where are you going to find it? <laughs> what a dreamer. <laughs> ah, ow! Oh, my back. Uh, let me help you with that. I... Uh, about that elixir of youth, where do you think we should start looking for it? The elixir of I <laughs> almost there. Uh, 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 oh, uh, 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 shake it. Is that enough? Oh, it says here that the cones should be small and unopened. Oh, and all you knock down are big open ones. You would think the least you could do is. Hold on, I think I see one. Bend the branch down a little. Wow! What's next? On the list. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh. The seaweed has to be green for the elixir, but all these are just as blue as you are. Go back. Uh, right. Green, not blue. <laughs> You stay here. <laughs> Warm up while I go for a dive. What is it with you today? Don't they get tired? I get tired just watching them. How much further? We need a cup of mountain honey. We'll keep climbing. Until we find some mountain honeybees. Don't bother. I think they found us. Ah, just enough for...
for one cup. Oh! Time to go! Ah! No, no, no. Ah. 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 Suck in your stomach. Breathe steady. One, two, one, two, one, two. Whoa! Holy carrots! Pick it up, y'all. One, two, one, two. Bees? Oh. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh. Oh. It's ready. Let it cool down. No. Every second it cools, I lose another year of my life. <laughs> this is disgusting. I can't drink this. <laughs> Maybe we can dilute it or something. Rub it. Twice a day. Morning and night. <laughs> it's just a cream. Cream? Wrinkles? This is not the elixir of youth. It's just a cream that takes away your wrinkles. You were right. There's nothing we can do about our age. It is what it is. And we are what we are. There are some advantages to being older, you know. However, we haven't figured out what they are yet. And do you want to know why? Uh, why? Because you and I are just not old enough. <laughs> Well, so much for trying to do astronomy out in the cold all night. Mm-hmm. Stars are still there in the summer. That's what you get for being so stubborn. What's wrong? I'm all right, you guys. There's no need to worry about... <coughs> Come back later. It's just a head cold. No, nope, that's influenza. No, it's not. Just a sniffle, and barely. It's the flu. Specifically moose flu. This has to be properly diagnosed. Both of you keep saying, it's just a cold. But now look. His uh. being out in the snow gave him moose flu. Uh. <laughs> I believe you now. Molly. Molly! It was an accident. I said, come back later. Understand? Uh. <laughs> We're busy now. Doc goes sick. And right now, he needs all our attention. Hmm. Wally! Huh? Hold this, thanks. What's this, raspberry? Homemade jam. Helps you feel better. So good. <gasps> That's not for you! Uh, what? Uh. This jam's for Daco! Don't eat ice. We don't need you getting sick, too. Sickness isn't meant for fun. But you're helped by everyone. All the jam that you can eat. Honey tea's a tasty treat. What's the harm in being ill? Getting cared for is such a thrill. What's the harm in being ill? Getting cared for is such a thrill. Maybe I'll get sick too. 
What's the harm in being ill? Getting care for such a thrill. Maybe I'll get sick too. Come on! Breaking the ice will make it melt faster. And then it'll be spring. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> What's he? Ha! Isn't it cold for a swim? Hey, Wally, you'll get sick. That's the goal. What? What kind of goal is that? It's an awesome goal, right? You get so much attention. People feed you. You get delicious things like tea and raspberry jam. Well, I think and... he achieved his goal. He's clearly delirious. Uh -huh. We should help. Poor guy. <laughs> hey, it's just a bit of flu. There are worse things I could do. Carrots! <laughs> What's the harm in laryngitis? Or some gastroenteritis? One sheep, two sheep, get a cold. They won't know they're being trolled. Someone call the CDC. I just need some TLC. Maybe I'll get sick too. What's the harm in being ill? Getting cat for such a thrill. Chocolate and jam. Oh, I'm a very sickly ram. Fever or the chicken pox. I don't care, attention rocks. One sheep, two sheep, get the flu. Looks like he might need some soup. Feel like I'm about to sneeze. How about some hot soup, please? Maybe I'll get sick too. What's the harm in being I don't feel... <laughs> I don't feel good. Hi. You have all the luck. Oh, come on, guys. Let's go home where it's warm and hopefully we'll feel better then. Oh, oh well, oh. I was wrong. Oh. Chico? Oh. Rash! Oh. Save me! Get it. Oh. Oh. This doesn't oh. look like it's fun at all. Oh. You're not doing oh. this right. Oh. Ah, this is bad! They're really sick! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just karma! No, it's called the flu, and you've both got it. This looks like an epidemic. I've got stuff for this, not to mention flu shots for everyone else. This will help others from getting sick, too. Phew, that was less fun than I thought. Ooh, not worth it. Enjoy your raspberry jam, guys. One sheep, two sheep, This is nice. Yeah. It's good to take time out, sit on a bench, eat watermelon, and soak up the sunset. Totally. Remember painting this bench? Definitely. <laughs> Barry climbed up a tree, and then he couldn't... Oh, yeah. <laughs> ...down. <laughs> oh, Barry. Oh. Uh, Barry? <laughs> that wasn't Barry. <laughs> Barry's an excellent climber. Mm -hmm. Barry could have easily slid down. <laughs> it wasn't really Barry? No! <laughs> I think it was Pen. He was drawing a blueprint for some device in the sand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. No, I don't remember. <laughs> but he climbed up the tree. And then what? Then he fell and broke his wing. Remember when he had that full body cast? <laughs> Wait, he didn't hurt his wing falling out of a tree. He broke it when he crashed his plane. <laughs> right. And then who was it? 
Whoever it was definitely wrote something in the dirt. Probably not the girls. <laughs> yeah, probably not. For sure. Right. So then that leaves uh, Wally, huh? Carlin, or Daco. <laughs> Wally, climb up a tree. <laughs> <laughs> then it had to be Carlin. <laughs> Carlin wrote his lyrics in the sand. Uh, he got stuck up a tree, and we had to help him down. <laughs> but Carlin's a bird. He could use his, you know, wingy wings. Up, up. <laughs> and away. <laughs> he could have just flown down from the tree. <laughs> Blech. Well, now, who's going to bail me out this time? That means that it had to be Daco. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. It's strange we forgot. Forgot what? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> we were reminiscing about when Crash painted this bench. You see, we were waiting for it to dry, so we went over to Daco's. Daco wrote something in the sand, and then he got spooked and climbed up the tree. <laughs> yeah, he was screaming, Wah! Help me! Help me! <laughs> Have you both completely lost it? That wasn't Daco, that was me! Me! You? Yeah, yes. I ran out of paper, so I started writing on the ground. In a fit of inspiration, I climbed this tree. And I wasn't screaming, help me, help me! I calmly said, please, lend me a hand, chums. Are we talking about the same incident? We certainly are. Yeah, okay then. If it was so easy for you to get down, then why did we have a group hug when it was over? Huh? You were worried about me. You're sentimental like that. Chico was so relieved that he couldn't stop crying. He claimed it was allergies. But we <laughs> know the truth. That's not true. I... I was <gasps> just... I... I was... <gasps> oh. I... It was raining. Raindrops got in my eye. Okay. Oh. You're turning as pink as that bench. <laughs> I don't get it. How could you forget all about me like that? I was the main character of the story. Are you even going to remember this conversation? Or are you going to think that you were sitting in the snow eating cantaloupe with Rosa? Hmm? We can remember things wrong without your help. Hmm? Forget your kindness. We'll remember this for sure. <laughs> uh huh. We'll see. Sometimes it seems like things kind of lose their real meaning. Like the real meaning of a window is to look through it. But sometimes you look through it, and it seems there isn't really anything to see. Nothing interesting, anyway.
Or what's the real meaning of washing your face in the morning? To get clean? Or just to do something? But then what's the real meaning of doing something? In the morning? Or any time at all? What's the real meaning of even existing? Unclear. Unclear whether life has always been meaningless, and you simply never noticed it until now. Or there used to be meaning, but at some point it somehow faded away. <coughs> Shouldn't nap in the snow, you'll get whooping cough. So what? What would it mean to not get whooping cough? Not feeling bad. What's the meaning of feeling good? To be healthy, of course, you woolly goober. And being healthy means what? You nuts. Isn't being healthy better than being unwell? It's not a question of better. Better is irrelevant. What's the point of being healthy if it doesn't mean something? So, you're looking for meaning? Yep. In everything? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Then you need Kuzanatra. What on earth is Kuzanatra? Kuzanatra is a thing that gives meaning. That! I need that! Bad! Where do you get it? It's a long way from here. To find real meaning, I would travel anywhere! Yeah, nah. I'd have to show you how to get there, and it's too far. And I already have enough meaning in my life without Kuzanatra. I'm begging you, take me to the meaning. If I can't get there, all is lost. All right. Let's go then, try to keep up. You really surprise me. Knowing about Kuzanatra, have you really never thought of using it for yourself? Well, the less you know, the better you sleep. Sounds like your spirit's quite tired, my friend. <sighs> you have become old, my friend. Tired and indifferent. You're telling me you aren't even curious about the meaning of life? What would I gain from that information? What if it turns out the meaning of life is to not eat sweets and not sleep till noon? That would be... <clears throat> a giant bummer. <sighs> Old silly Carlin. So very kind. Huh? In his own way. What? Can you imagine what a wonderful, fulfilling life we'll have when we both finally completely understand the real meaning of it all? I can't wait! It's gonna be so awesome! You'll understand why you eat too much cake, or tell a silly lie for no reason. I won't waste any more time wondering what stuff means, and then life will become easy and clear. You know, I had an easy and clear life, but then I ran into you, and now we're here. What's the cause of all evil? It's because each of us sees the same things differently. Each of us interprets the same things in different ways, which makes conflict. But if there were only one meaning, the true, real one, everybody would just get along. <laughs> How much longer will it be until we reach Kuzanatra? <sighs> would it kill Kuzanatra to live closer <clears throat> to my house? <sighs> We need to write a note telling how everyone can make the journey themselves to Kuzanatra. We can tell them what the journey's like. They'll be better prepared than us. That way they'll know to bring a coat. I'm almost frozen. And I have a built-in sweater. Come on. We have to get there. Have to. Then we can help everyone learn the truth. Where are we? We're home now. Home and free. We lost our direction in the blizzard. And made a detour. Just try and get some rest now. We can try to get there again tomorrow.
There's no need to hurry. Kuzinatra won't get away from us. The real meaning of this broth is to be eaten to help bring back my strength. The real meaning of my comfy, soft, warm bed is for rest. And these meanings just might be enough for me. For now. Hmm.